This Not On Your Side news update is sponsored by Hawksworth Blood Center. Stay in the know with Dr. O. Visit hawksworth.org. Good evening. This is your WCPO News Flash. I'm Kristen Hartman. The last of eight family members accused in the Roden family murders faced a judge today in Pike County. Family patriarch George Billy Wagner entered the courtroom shackled at his hands and feet. He is accused of aggravated murder, just like his wife and two sons. The judge spent an hour reading the indictment detailing the accusations against Wagner. One charge involves allegedly purchasing items to commit the murders. Wagner pled not guilty. He also waived his right to a speedy trial. His next court appearance will be January 17th. The Warren County prosecutor wants a killer to stay on death row. Last week, Prosecutor David Fornshell urged the Ohio Supreme Court to reject the sentence appeal of Austin Myers. Myers was convicted in 2014 of killing Justin Back before Back was about to join the U.S. Navy. The pair were childhood friends. Timothy Mosley, another man charged in the case, entered a plea and was sentenced to life in prison without parole. Finally, a cafeteria worker at John G. Carlisle Elementary School in Covington has been diagnosed with hepatitis A. The worker was infectious for three weeks while working at the school. The school district tells Nine on Your Side it was notified last night. Students and family members who have eaten food prepared by the cafeteria between November 13th and December 3rd who are not vaccinated are being urged to do so. In Kentucky, school children are required by law to have that vaccination in order to attend school. That is your Nine on Your Side News Flash. I'm Kristen Hartman. Have a good evening.